Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Um, so here we have a standard popper uh, deck. Uh, I just got interested in, in the standard popper format uh, just because uh, I thought it would be a cool idea because it's just all the standard cards and I, and I really enjoy popper but it's very dominated by storm and I like to at least play creatures or uh, have a control game. Um, so I decided to pick up this four color control deck. Uh, because it seems like the, exactly the kind of style I like. Um, and uh, uh, so I played it in one event and so far, and I went 3-2, and that's pretty cool for my first event. I'm pretty happy about that, at least. Um, and then I got more of a feel for what the metagame would be like and made a few changes to the deck. And so here is the current deck list that I will be playing in the next event. Um, we got seven Evolving Wilds uh, effects, three Evolving Wilds, four Tyromorphic Expanse, um, two Plains and three Kabira Crossroads, two Swamps, two Bajuka Bogs, an Island, two Halimar Depths, and three Mountains. Um, Kabira Crossroads is just necessary to gain you life because you're a control deck and you want to stay in the game more uh, and interact well with, really well with Core Sky Fisher. And um, the Bajuka Bogs are mainly just because there are a lot of four-color control decks, or even mono-black decks that just play Grave Diggers and um, to get back their creatures, and you don't want the, to, you know, let them get their value. Um, and then Halimar Depths is just obviously a nice dig spell, and you have Evolving Wilds and uh, Squadron Hawks to you know shuffle those away, and even. Seagate Oracles and 4C if you kind of want to lose value, but, uh, um, and that's, you know, that's it for lands, but, uh, we have Prophetic Prisms also to finish, uh, to fix your mana up, uh, just three of those, um, and they also interact with Core Sky Fisher if you, if you want to, um, so the one Silvok Life Staff is really good in the meta game right now, just because a lot of what you want to do is, you know, use use your squadron hawks as like you know kill spells because you can just block their creatures, um, and you have you know a, a nice stream of them once you get one. Uh, if you if you know you don't have these as kill spells, you know, when twelve isn't enough. So the kill spell suite is just bolts, burst lightnings, and doom blades. It's pretty good. Um, we have the journeys in the sideboard because I think doom blades just. It's fine, even if you play black decks, it's fine. You can just, should be able to get them, at least kind of. Um, and then the ubiquitous uh, white package of Popper, Core Skyfisher, and uh, Squadron Hawks. And then I have the Singleton Dawn Glare Invoker, which I think is just awesome. Um, a lot, especially with this control deck. I feel like a lot of the games just always are just that grindy where you can get to 8 mana and just win because you have so many creatures out uh, at the time. Or, you know, if you can get to 8 mana and it might take a few turns, but it's pretty easy. Uh, it's pretty good to if you can protect it. And then we have 4-4-C four, four because it's just the best draw spell in the format. It's one of the most powerful cards I could think of. Um and it's performed really well. Um, three Seagate Oracles, because three is fine, because you have, you know, the four Cs to dig to. Um, the three Mind Rots, because you don't really need all four, I suppose, but they're really strong. Uh, obviously, since you don't need four necessarily, since they're better, you know, late game, when they don't have as many cards in their hand, where they can just throw away whatever they don't really need. Uh, you want to get them when they have like three cards in hand, or obviously even just the two. But um, and then you have three grave diggers because that's your that's your late game is bringing back Core Sky Fisher to bounce grave digger to you know wait until something dies to do it again over and over. It's really really powerful, and that's why people play the Bajuka Bogs because it just gets you that end game. And then here's the sideboard, another Silvok Life Staff because they're really good and um, I've, I've usually seen a lot of just four shrivels in their sideboards but I, I really enjoy the seismic shutters because you can get through it with your squadron hawks and it makes it's a, it's a powerful interaction and it's an instant which makes 
makes it a lot better in my opinion. Um, actually, in my the one that I uh, the one event that I participated in, I took out three calcite snappers with the <laughs> seismic shutter, and uh, my opponent had turned them into four ones and was and attacked into me, and I was like, here you go. It was pretty. It was pretty good, and. Um, the three negates, because you, you want some counter spells, especially against the, the four color control decks and mono black. And then also the no, mono black. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, for the mono black matchup, um, you have the two journey to nowheres to take out the doom blades for. And for other uh, decks that have Silvok life staff and any other artifact you might actually want to get rid of. Um, or enchantments um, like the journeys you have uh, the core sanctifiers um, and just three um, I, I really liked the deck playing uh, it before um, however I was playing a, a, a slightly different version I had fume spitters somewhere uh, here in the main I had three fume spitters and the sideboard had like perilous mirrors and stuff uh, instead of core sanctifiers because I didn't know how valuable they'd be. And um, a few other things, but... Um, so I will I will uh, think about uh, filming uh, the next time I play this deck. And um, I can, I can uh, look back on them and see what mistakes I made. And uh, hopefully you guys can uh, help me out and tell me other mistakes that I made. And so yeah, I'll potentially see you then.